sub 2049 yeah sub 2059 yeah like i don't know like my goal would be like a 2030 for solo jetman if i even get there but it, it would require like a, like a, the d spawn of the eye i need to learn it and do the, and do the thing he has swamp thing oh yeah the only thing you had back then i see it makes sense we're europeans right so this guy created a formula to like save the uh, the environment or something, or growth in the barren areas of the earth. So he was like, yeah, let's get, let's get this done. Let's, uh, let's uh, help everybody. His hope was to able to eliminate world hunger. What a guy, man. What a, and then the evil and twisted scientist, Dr. Anton Arcane, had other plans. That's right. Desire was to use the formula as bio restorative. Restorative? Powers for himself. What a bastard. To achieve immortality. Because, yeah, I mean, immortality is exactly the same as like growth in barren places in the earth. And so he stole his formula. The explosion set Holland's body aflame. Look at that. Yeah, so the world record for this one was first by uh, Mecha Richter. Uh, it's like a 1429, I think, or 26. Uh, now it's 1423. And it could still be beaten, but this game is... Uh, this game is made by Imaginary, and if you've ever played like any Bart vs. the World, or Bart vs. the Space Mutants, or uh, any game made by Imaginary, you know that A, the A button is jump. But A button is also run, so that makes like mm, perfect gameplay. <laughs> or also pretty shitty controls, that's what it means. So now you know the control scheme of this game. Like if you've played Bart games, now you know how this game plays. And you will hear a lot of recognizable sounds. It'll be like, hey, this, this is like a Bart game. Yes, it is. It absolutely is. And there we go. Look at that title screen now. The title screen is awesome. All right, let's get this party started. It is Swamp Thing time. Let's get this intro. I'll do a countdown in three, two, one, bam. And I got it. <laughs> Good start. So yeah, all those tiny things that I grab are health, batteries. Uh, if I get 20, I get more health. If I get 40, I get more health. If I get 50, I get a 1-up. That's it. But with more health, I mean exactly one health. You get one piece of health. This is one. You expected more? No, you get one. No full health or something, nothing. It's one health. We played a little safe there, because we had like too much damage here. But yeah, it's a swamp thing. It's a good game. Quality style, great jumps, good mechanics. And this is the trolliest level one ever you'll ever encounter in a video game. Because these fish can randomly spawn at any given time, really. And I got hit so many times, this is not good. Let's focus here. You need to be careful. Come on, fish. Come on. I mean, two health should be enough, but we get some super, super bad luck with this game. Preferably, I would leave this stage with four health. Now we have two. Health management is really important in this game. But whatever, we're fine. Two health, let's go. No problems. This is a spin-off of Conan the Barbarian stage. <laughs> I have no idea. Talk about my ass, but I don't know what they were thinking with this stage. I mean, I've never read a Swamp Thing comic, but I'm pretty sure this is not a new comic. Let's grab the help for safety. Wait here. Bam. Got 11 batteries already. We're in good shape. The duck animation is the same as jumping, which is great. Oh, that's gonna be... If I have enough lives... Oh. I don't know why I went here. Why am I here? 
Help! At least I have enough lives now. I better one up. I never go here. <laughs> Help! This is not the intent of Rabbit. I don't even know how to play this. <laughs> I thought it was like one jump later than I'm, I am actually. But whatever, we're fine. These jumps are impossible. So I lost like 30 seconds of doing that stupid shit. But hey, we get a despawn, so that's cool. Alright, so we're back on track. <laughs> what in the world? Okay, we're good. Wait for the stupid skull. Oh, we got hit by the eyeball, whatever. But that was some, some interesting stuff going on there. Oh, these eyeballs follow you forever, by the way, as you can see. But we're still in good shape for the health. We're, we're fine for the next stage, so we can do all the fancy damage boosts that we're gonna do. Because we're gonna grab this one right here. Bam! We got six. K percent! Yeah, I don't know what happened. You're not supposed to go down there. Mm. Alright. Best music ever. It's safe, but you still got the hit. That's fine. I was, I was supposed to take a hit there anyway. Don't trust these flames. Never trust them. Never trust these pits either. You know what can happen in these pits? Yeah, you jump over it and then you get sucked in. What? No idea why, but it happens. This is. This is so dumb. All right, so we're getting one extra health, but bam! Wow, unbelievable. Thank you, game. It only took me like 50 minutes to collect all those, and I got one extra health. Wow. So jump over here. Bam! And then we get this interesting part. We actually got a one-up, so I can show you the upside-down swamp thing. This is awesome. I know y'all want to, y'all want to see it, right? I got two one-ups. Now you can see the best part about this game. Yes. Get hyped. Yeah, never throws anything in this game. Don't do not do fancy ducking on these hands. I've learned the hard way. Like, if you duck in these hands, there is like a 50-50% chance you just fall through. And then you get to jump back up again. What? <laughs> Why? But, alright, here we go. Jump again there, bam. Didn't jump, I don't know why. And here comes random boss. He can spawn everywhere he wants. And there is also a soft lock potential with this boss. So that's great. And that is exactly the soft lock potential. If I would have hit him there, if I would have hit him twice there, he would have soft locked again. And the boss would never spawn again. But that's always great. Alright, good. It's a pretty good boss fight. This is the longest stage in the game. Uh, in a speedrun, this takes five minutes. So you'll see the stage for a little bit for now. So we get the most awesome music ever here. It's time for Swamp Thing. Give me This is super cool. Take damage. Because ah. you get like a million health after this part. Jump on the flat NES elevators. Because you can control yourself, actually. That's right. You can control the elevators yourself. Unbelievable. What a game. get the frame perfect jump if I get it you don't even see it but maybe you'll get it it's right here oh if you don't get hit oh. if you don't get hit there you get the frame perfect jump oh I missed that shot. 
Oh, I pussy it out there, I don't know why. We'll find him. That is my worst nightmare, that guy. <laughs> Sees it. Ah! You jerk. Eh! Hey! Oh! These things are random. They spawn everywhere. Alright, first part done. Let's go. Why did I sign up for this? And I mean only this game, not the whole marathon, of course. It's time to jump. Such a fun jump. Let's kill robots. And collect batteries. Oh. Okay, I want that health actually. Detour. Detour. Give me that. Colors in this game are terrible. What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. These are beautiful palettes. Like I like how I missed that guy. What's this a bad shot? This part is just so annoying. I always get hit like a million times. It's a finicky part, man. It's a finicky part. Let's wait here, bam, grab the health. Where do these dudes go? Oh yeah, uh, another thing to note in this game, if I would fall down here, uh, you don't die. You just have to play it again. But we did it. We did part two. Well, let's go. I told you this stage was gonna be long. It's still the same stage. <laughs> Never stops. <gasps> okay, good. Stop. Casual just playing this this stage is just like is it ever, is it ever oh come on get out, get down here is it ever gonna stop this we're gonna think when you play this the answer is no it's not it's gonna keep on going and going and then you fall down and it keeps on going and going forever yeah this is Bartman songs this is imaginary it's gonna be all those beautiful songs songs you love. Yeah, we got some good RNG there. Wait here. Bam, go. Because look at this slime. Like, if you don't wait there, you get hit by that slime. It's just such a big move. What happens? If you play Swamp Thing. Oh! He didn't jump. We're fine. Gotta play this boss. That's right, there's a boss. It's a little safe. They gave me crap RNG. You know it's a quality game where you have to jump before you can do like a fast jump. I hit him five times and he should be done. Festicator, whatever his name is. Ah. Come on, bro. That's right. Uh, one more. Bam! Get out of here. Okay, cool. There you go, that's the longest and hardest stage of the game. If I'm doing attempts, I usually don't say anything. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. And now we get like like a breeze next to that. Like after that stage, you're like, oh man. It's gonna be even worse, but no, it's gonna be way easier. Way, way easier. <gasps> Bad traps. Almost, oh, this is a, you can, that's right. Ah, Swamp Thing has to take a rest sometimes. Okay, let's go. Get a 
take a caca. Mind it, it's just swamp thing being swamp thing. If you hear like weird sounds, this game. Unavoidable damage right there. Hi, when I made that guy. All right, now I can show you the good, good stuff right here, guys. Are you ready for the good stuff? Can I hear a good stuff in the chat? I don't know. You're, you, you have to be ready because this is a once in a lifetime experience. Here we go. <laughs> so good. Right, he's upset. Yeah, wait here. A little bit too much damage. <laughs> so what basically happens is like the game thinks you're like still inside the apple, and the apple is upside down, so the game just spawns you upside down. But uh there goes up on like the he was just about to be cool, and now he's normal again. Too bad. Just about to be cool. Okay, boss time. Ooh, you got it. Good. So what happened there? Um, when you enter like into inside a wall, uh, you will see those like weird two eyes. You gotta like hit rocks on that boss or whatever is going on. And if you uh, you have like 30 frames or something to do that. So if you hit like at the perfect timing, it's okay, perfect. Uh, to get inside that tree, what happens is you just spawn inside the wall of the next stage. And just so happened to be that this stage is the most ridiculous and hardest stage ever. You can just walk in the wall, you're fine, no problems. Let's go. <laughs> Best glitch ever. Shout out to Mecha Richter for finding this out. Because he was just messing around and then all of a sudden like, what? <laughs> I just spawned in a wall, what? And find a boss, let's go. Find a boss is random, so you can just spawn whenever you feel like. Got to punch him like five times, six times, and uh, it's gonna be time. There he is. Oh. If you're low health, you play this game casual, and you're here to find a boss, just punch his projectiles, and there's a chance he will drop health. Oh, this is a pretty good RNG. Bam, there we go. Bam, time. Woo, that was a good boss fight. There you go, that is, uh, that is Swamp Thing. <laughs> what a game. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to laugh because this game is just so bad. But it's, it, it, is, it is super fun to play, really. I really enjoy playing it. There's like those tiny finicky glitches and stuff going on in this game. That it just makes like, it makes a good replayability for this game. You can just feel like, hey man, I just want to try it again because maybe I will get better RNG at the boss, or maybe I'll just zip a little bit further to the right. Because if I would have zipped like on the three all the way to the right, I can save like one second for free and spawn a little bit further in the final stage, so I can just walk through the wall faster than I did here. Um, but he is something, 
This is a pretty cool looking end screen, in my opinion. Looks pretty nice. At last, indeed, yeah. I had the same feeling when I beat this for the first time. And I raged like crazy. I raged like crazy when I was playing this. Like, if you play this casual, you're not gonna be fun. You're not gonna have fun. <laughs> if you have no idea what's going on, like, this, this game is awful. But if, if you know, if you know, like Transformers, or Solo Jetman, or this game, it is fun. Fun, fun, fun. Um, okay, 